Hey everyone. I'm going to Vegas. I've, I have actually never been to Vegas before, um, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. I know I wasn't on last week. I had a neck injury. I will tell you more about that later. Um, but I wanted to let you know that I may or may not, I'm hoping to uh, go live on Wednesday, but that's also the day of my big workshop. Um, the title is resilience and success during the age of uncertainty. And um, it's funny because I was talking to some friends recently and they were talking about some trainings and they said, if I hear the word resilience one more time, I'm gonna scream. And I thought, oh my gosh, like the name of my talk has the R word in it. But what I am, what I'm excited about is that it's an opportunity to talk about how even when life feels really out of control, even when the demands of life get really, really hard and really, really intense, that we can still create a little bit of space. We can still feel in control on the inside, no matter how out of control life feels on the outside. And so this talk, it's, I'm, I feel so honored because they are giving me 90 minutes with their people. And in a 90 minute workshop, oh, you get to go deep and you get to share a lot of things. And so I'm excited about that. And, um, and I'm just delighted to be able to share some of this because we need, we need women to stay in the workforce. I mean, you don't need to sacrifice everything to stay in the workforce, but for women to stay in the workforce, to keep doing the work that they love, they know they want to love. They know they used to love. They know they still do love. And yet life is, can be feeling so intense and it just keeps going on with no end in sight. So this workshop is really all about helping to create a little more space, a little more love for the work, a little more um, patience for life and a little more, I'm gonna be okay, even if this continues as it does. Um, and so, and the group that I'm speaking to, I got to tell you, this is um, Crew, Commercial Real Estate Network for Women. And I just love Crew. I just love Crew. I'm not in the field of commercial real estate, but I have yet to meet. I mean, everyone that I have met has been amazing. And the way they show up, the way they show up to their work, the way they're showing up to these conferences, the way they're showing up for each other and their people, it's just like a beautiful organization to witness from the outside in, uh, looking from the outside in, it's just incredible. So I'm excited. And this will be my first time heading to Vegas. I mean, I don't know what that's going to be like. I'm a little bit terrified and I'm also a little bit excited. My husband is uh, convinced that I'm not going to care for it. That might be true. <laughs> But I'm excited to just be there and it'll be my first time speaking to a live audience really since February of 2020. And so especially a group this size and I'm just super excited. Um, and thank you to everyone who reached out to me about my neck. My neck is fine. Um, it's an embarrassing story for me to tell. However, when I have told it, people seem to like the story. So I don't know, maybe you like my embarrassing stories. Um, but I, my family went camping and at the campground, they were having a early Halloween celebration. It was a KOA, a great place. And they had an outdoor dance party complete with a DJ. And so it was just, you know, a small group of people dancing. And for those who know me, I am not one to sit out when there's dancing available. I will be there. I will be there on the dance floor, maybe in the middle of it, maybe not. Um, but I will definitely be out there on the dance floor. And my daughter was the same way. So she and I um, were dancing around, getting really hot, even though it was a, a kind of a rainy night. And I helped her get her hair in a ponytail and she kind of swung her hair back and forth. And I said, oh no, because love shack was on. i have to I, you have to know love shack was playing and you know 
she's got this high ponytail. I said, no, you've got to whip it around like this. And I proceeded to whip my head around to Love Shack as one does my non-existent hair around. And um, yeah, later on that evening, probably at about three in the morning, my neck woke me up to say, you are no longer of hair whipping age. <laughs> It's not going to happen. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you shouldn't do that again. And so I have been caring for my body these last few days, making sure I'm in top shape to travel and to speak. And um, that's my story. So thank you for all the love and care. And yeah, everything is well. I will just try not to rock out to Love Shack anytime in the near future. Ah, thank you all for joining me on this journey. I can't wait to share some of this. Oh, and one thing I do want to share, one of the things that I researched is about pandemic flux syndrome. If you have not looked it up, look it up, pandemic flux syndrome. There's a great article in the Washington Post written by um, Amy Cuddy, who has that viral TED Talk about presence. And she wrote a book called Presence and... Um, it's, it's just, it just speaks to the soul about what you may be going through, all the fluxations that are happening in the world, all of our uh, needing to kind of constantly be in that flux and some of those opposing emotions that can come up, you know, relief um, and fear, anxiety and hope, depression and um, possibility all of that kind of stirring up in all of us over the course of the summer and and for the foreseeable future. Um, and so, and she also has some strategies to kind of manage that. And that's what I'll be talking about, both the strategies that Amy Cuddy talks about, as well as Brene Brown, as well as some other things that I'm finding to be helpful with my clients. So that's the update. That's a lot of information to throw at you all at once, but I wanted to keep you updated um, because tomorrow's tomorrow is is a big day for me and uh, and as is this week and I'll be sharing more as time goes on. In the meantime, take care of your neck even if Love Shack is playing and um, hopefully I'll see you. I'll give you an update later this week. Take care.